What up, peeps? Tony Baker here, back with another movie review. This time I'm reviewing the film Madam Web. We dipping back into the Spider-Man universe right here via Sony Pictures. Sony, for me, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, outside of Spider-Man directly, I ain't feeling nothing they talking about. Morbius, both Venom movies. I know the Venom movies made money, but for me, I don't care how good of an actor Tom Hardy is, I do not like the Venom movies. Whatever, whatever review I gave him on, on this particular page, the review is lower now. Sometimes the, sometimes the saxophones go down on the revisit. I didn't like the Venom movies. I liked the first Venom better than the second one. I, I'm not feeling it. And Morbius, come on, man. Come on. So we back. With another, with another side Spider-Man character that nobody really was looking for. Madam Web. Madam Web is in the comic book. She be posted up. She can see things before they happen. This is who she is. I can see the future type vibe. I can see what's gonna happen before it happens. This is who Madam Web is. Played by Dakota Johnson. Now, is Madam Web a strong enough character to get an actual movie made? I mean, the potential was there. I mean, it's kind of cool to be like, all right, I, I know what's gonna happen. And we like playing with that in movies, whether it be like a Groundhog Day situation where they keep reliving the same day or when we have those uh, moments where oh, I can see the future real quick. You know what I'm saying? So playing into that can get your interest going. But the trailers are kind of misleading. They, they showing you Spider Girl and these different types of spider, spider women going on and like all kind of stuff. Her mom is like in the jungles of Jungleville looking for a rare spider that can help the health of humans. So that's, her mom is out there, she pregnant with baby Madam Webb, baby Dakota Johnson. Some shit goes down, she loses her mother, but you know, birth is still given, of course, because that's why she exists, but the villain guy is just whatever. Here we go again with a dry ass, personality free villain. And we just like, we get it. You know what I'm saying? You wanted you wanted access to that spider. You got it now. Now you want to prevent you from dying because now you can see into the future a little bit. So now you like, I gotta prevent my death. That's that's his whole agenda. And he has these like abilities like Spider-Man kind of, but not really, but kinda. And he got like a Spider-Man costume. And it's set in 2003 before Peter Parker was even born. And then in the characters, they're like, yo, Ben Parker's in this movie. And they make sure to tell us Ben Parker is, is Ben Parker. They say his full name too many times. Ben Parker, Ben Parker. All right, we, is this supposed to be Peter's uncle? You're shoving it down our throats. They say his full name every time. The only person they say the full name more is probably me. People be like Tony Baker usually. They rarely just say Tony. They be like, Tony Baker. They give him Ben Parker to Tony Baker. You know what I'm saying? We get it. He's like, yo, man, my nephew's going to be born. Just mad excitement over the nephew. Just like, you know what I'm saying? It was just extra excitement. I was like, oh, we get it. But the but the villain was boring. He was just dry. And I was just like, oh, here we go again with the dry villains. You have the three teenage girls that Madam Webb saves from the villain. And so their dynamic was kind of kind of cool. You know, the different girls coming together and you know, they had personality or whatever. And so that was kind of cool. That was like a high point of the movie, but it was still just like the jokes and the writing. I was just like, mm, ah, ah. Mike Epps is in it. But ultimately everything just fell flat. The action meant nothing to me. I didn't really connect. And so I was just like, Psst. All right, man, we, we here. Do I feel like it deserves the straight venom people are giving, no pun intended, the venom people are giving it online? I think people are going overboard because they just love to just bash stuff and they'd be like, yeah, this is the movie we bashing for right now. Let's let's just pile on it. But it's not good. It's not good. But forget all that. Y'all want to know the smooth jazz review of Madam Webb. Well, here it is. Oh, yeah. I'm giving Madam Webb one and a half saxophones out of five. Maybe a flaccid, you know what, one and a half saxophones out of five. It's just, it's not good. It's not good, y'all. The climax was just cheeks. You know what? I wish I could see into the future and be like, yo, this movie gonna be trash. We gonna make something else. That's when the powers would really kicked in. If somebody, if they really had a Madam Web on the production staff, be like, 
yo, I saw this movie. The reviews is gonna be trash. It's gonna be trash. Let's let's do something else. And then they be like, oh, right, right, we rewrite the script. But you know, here we are. Nobody got them powers though. All right, peeps, that's my review of Madam Web. Let me know what you thought of the movie in the comment section below. Is it as bad as people are saying? Let me know in the comment section below. And I, am I a part of the Venom? Am I now a part of the Venom? But I'm just giving them, I'm fair. Because I think people was too hard on the Marvels. I feel like when it's a woman-led comic book movie, whatever, I feel like people are harder on these than they are with the men. That's just my take, because I, I know I know a lot of y'all don't like women. And you gonna be like Tony pandering again, but y'all y'all on the other side of the pander. And y'all be like, I ain't gonna see it if it's a woman lead super. She can't fight me. A lot of dudes be thinking like that, but forget all that. Let me know what you thought of the movie in the comment section below. Also, let me know what you think of the Sony Spider-Man movies. Outside of Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man Far From Home and Spider-Man No Way Home, those are good. Outside of them, the Venoms, the Morbius, the Madam Web. What y'all think of these joints, man? Rank them for me in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as usual, we out here.